setting up and managing the site is taking our uh, setting up the total station because we'll be taking elevations throughout the excavation of any object any important features and honestly any change all of your points at the square that you're excavating so the first thing i'll do is set it up this is the tripod for it um here's its little screw so first you're gonna just get it up get it to stand i'll get the total station out careful with it because i don't want to break it there's a little screw over here which you have to match up and then tighten after setting up the tripod what we want to do is make sure it's uh, balanced over the pin which marks your coordinates that would have been taken prior to all of this um, so you would just make sure all your legs are locked then you want to look through your down scope which is right over here this is the back side of the Nikon <laughs> and you you'll just make sure you look through this and mark uh, level the target to make sure it's right over the pin right under this you can also use a little line level string attached to it to just to make sure and help you guide after that's all ready and set we want to look at these little dowels we're going to spin them in the same direction to make sure they're all locked so okay so after all of your dowels are locked and in place we want to just put uh, set the total station up centered between two of them so pick any set in between make sure it's leveled now you're going to start trying to level out the top bubble um, and what you do is just slowly spin one dowel at a time to level the total station between the two and here we're going to get a close-up to show the bubble move so right there Great. now that that's done i want to spin this into the next and since we've already started leveling these two dowels, we don't want to mess with it again to mess up the balance. So I'm going to just move on to the next one and try leveling it once again between the two lines. Uh, slightly. There you go. See, that's pretty level. Uh, now that we know that it's all locked and set, we can start turning it on and actually taking our points. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is take our measurement from the already pointed um, coordinate which is marked by a pin to the height of the instrument which can be marked with this crosshair over here on the side of the uh, total station so you'll just take a measurement tape and line it to the pin the crosshairs and lock it so now you can record your measurement what is the measurement so 145 okay so after you're taking your measurement from the known point to the crosshairs what we want to do is break the vertical so we're going to just turn your machine on unlock your scope and just spin it until it beeps which it just did pretty fast i'm just going to set it back in position and lock it all right now since we're setting setting up a new station we're just going to press stn which short form so it'll take you to this screen right here now we already know our point so we're just pressing one for known point and our point is point number one in this case. So again, one, and now you'll just enter your point over here that you've taken. Quickly took, showed the coordinates for the site and the point, and now we just enter in the measurement that was taken. So 1.45 and all done. Because you already know the coordinate that you're shooting to. And over here, since the backside is point number two, because point number one is the uh, vertical that you've already established you're just gonna press two and here you go now the height of the point the reflector we've already set to is 1.6 which is the target um, that we established when we were taking the first coordinate okay enter all right so after establishing your horizontal angle we're gonna have our partner holding the reflector and just setting it towards you at the point that we have already spoke about point number two, back sight. We're gonna first unlock both of them to first, just make sure your lens is pointing. You can look through here to make sure the target at the center is right in the center of the reflector, which your partner will be holding. And once that's set, lock all your, lock it again. Now that we're set up on the target, all we gotta do is measure the point. So here, we're gonna just press MSR1. This is your first point you're measuring. Press that and enter to save. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yes. 
Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So the reflector, this is the most important part of the reflector, uh, which your machine will lock into with its lens, with the target. Once you have it locked in, what happens is a laser will shoot out uh, at the center. And when it reflects back, it measures the distance to the target which then basically the machine can calculate the trig trigonometry um, and that's how you get your points for every point that you're shooting. Can I get down there? <laughs> All right, so like I said, there's gonna be multiple points taken throughout the excavation. So I'll have my partner just go down there and we'll measure one of the openings, which we believe is a mouse hole or possibly a burial, um, but we'll get the elevation for it. Um, so, Kaylin, please make your way down. So we press MSR2, which is our next point. Machine will beep. Kaylin, you got it? Yeah. Got it. And That's all. That's the total station. Does it slay?